Good Wednesday evening, everyone, January the 8th, 2014. Remember, yesterday, Tuesday, the Earth-facing solar flare, X-Class 1, X-Class 2 solar flare. You can see that right here. Let's watch for a moment. Now, let me take you to another article, and I'll put the link below. Right here. Northern lights may expand south next couple of days. We may be in for a spectacular show of northern lights now let me i'll put the link below but right here it's saying federal space weather forecaster joe conscious said the sun shot out a strong solar flare late tuesday that's what i just showed you which should arrive at earth early thursday it should shake up earth's magnetic field and expand the aurora barcella south possibly as far south as colorado and central illinois he said best viewing would probably be Thursday evening, weather permitting. So what they're saying is because of the solar flare eruption yesterday, earth facing, um, many more people may get a spectacular look at the northern lights. And I'm wondering what else uh, is going to take place. Will we have some power grids go down? Will the satellites go down? Will we lose our internet? I wonder. Northern Lights, Swedish, a picture taken late on March 7, 2012 of Northern Lights in Abisko, Swedish Lapland, the strongest space weather storm in five years, struck Earth on March 8 of 2012, causing some airlines to reroute their flights, threatening power disruptions, and sparking a show of the Northern Lights. NASA and other agencies warned that the storm had the potential to disrupt global positioning systems. GPS, that's what I was just talking about. This is back in 2012 when they did not have a powerful X class solar flare at the same time, uh, Earth directed, and they were already worried about GPS satellites, power grids going down, and had already caused some air carriers to change their plans, uh, polar flight paths. However, the Earth's magnetic field appeared to be absorbing the brunt of the shock and it was unlikely to reach the most uh, severe levels. That's back in 2012 of March. But now, northern, northerners thawing out from a bitter freeze may get rewarded with shimmering northern lights in the next couple of days. What else are we going to get um, rewarded with? A GPS shutting down airports closing i'm just throwing that out there is this a possibility because back in 2008 of march 7th and 8th uh, i'm sorry 2012 i i'm going to correct myself march 8 march 7th of 2012 uh they were worried uh, about the uh, uh, uh potential to disrupt the global positioning systems satellites and power grids and they did not have a massive solar flare like we have just seen. I'm going to throw this out there uh, for all of you. What are we, are we prepared? Are we prepared in case the power grids do go down? And uh, I just have to wonder, um, talking about a uh, EMP strike at this time, I don't know. The University of Alaska's uh, Geophysical Institute predicts much of Canada and the northern fringes of the U.S. should see the northern lights. Chicago, Boston, Cleveland, Seattle, Des Moines might see the shimmering colors low on the horizon. The solar storm is already diverting airline flights around the poles and may disrupt GPS service Thursday. There you go. There you have it. And on top of that, remember what we had yesterday friends that they didn't have back in March of 2012. We might be in for a ride come Thursday. Leave me comments, everyone.